Barry Sanders, a legend, going with that backfield match so we can put him on some extra hot roads and get some better catching out of the backfield. Born in 2003. In 2003, I was, yep, eighth grade. I was in middle school. There we go. <sighs> the young talent in this game, Tyler. It, oh, it kind of hurts. No, uh, yeah, it's great, but also, like, it makes you feel old. <laughs> It's crazy, man. 17 years old, playing for $7,500 right now. And, you know, just insane. You're going to see Manu here starting on offense in the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook. Manu known, you know, his, his name is Manu Ginobili, but I like to compare him to kind of like a Kawhi Leonard. He's a two-way player. He's elite on offense, elite on defense. You know, kind of a trendsetter in the community. He usually comes up with some popular concepts. We've seen he's really one of the first people to run mid blitz this lat, this year. You know, big down one four Ooh, six. Oh, okay. One of the, one of the players known for their trips tight end offense every year. We know how good that TNC crew is in the trips. And uh, he, like I said, he's looking for that big tournament run. You know, he's re he's so respected in the community, but he just hasn't got over that hump oh, to right. get this big win. Okay. See what he's got. Can TNC continue their incredible run so far? Here in the Madden 21 Club, so much success from that entire crew. First and 10, it is Farm. Screamer okay. off the edge. Good start for Strap God. Bring in the heat. Bring in the heat first play. I like it by the young man. Start off, you know, the nerves are coming. He said he's got some nerves, but start off with a little heat. Get Manu off his game. I like the dial up on first down. Second and long for Manu. Adrian Peterson in motion, oh, far. Step it up, no heat set this time, and Manu with that much time will find 85. Chad Johnson for 12 yards, third and seven. Yeah, that might that mutt item that I pointed out, Chad Johnson, great patience right there by Manu. You know, just waited in the pocket, stepped up, threw it underneath to the drag, and he's able to get himself in a manageable third and seven. Third down in that trip, so send Peterson in motion. It looked left side. It's Come caught on. by Reggie oh, Bush. Big hit at the line. I think he's short please. of the line to gain. It's going to be fourth Damn, of the yard. Damn, that's one. Yeah, that's Ooh, what they didn't give it to him. Cool, no. That's a big tackle for Strap God. You see Strap God, he's actually in the nickel 3-3-5 odd please, formation. That trip. We talked to Manu. Please, he said he expected that. That 3-3-5 odd really gained a lot of steam oh, lately. It's a very interesting blitz that comes off the edge. But fourth and one, Manu going to get outside his game and go under center with some eye form. He's known for his passing. This is ah. this is scary territory and could be a big momentum see, shifter here for Strap Dog. Fourth and a yard. And he's gonna take a timeout. Didn't yeah. like the look he got. Big moment early in this Panthers club final. Yeah, you see Manu, he's a little uh, like not sure what he wants to do, indecisive, because he's not known as a runner. He wants to pass. You see him, he wanted to see what look he got. Go, calls timeout, goes back to Trips tight end. And I think he's going to stay to the air here. You could see an inside zone, but I think he's going to go to the air on fourth and one. He'll go back into the trips. He's going to send AP in motion like he has every play out of this. Looks like he's going to pass, and he is. It's a quick throw. Bye, a little bit Cooley. of a pick play over there, and there's that man, uh, Chris Cooley, with the catch of first down. On the first play. Shepard Great recognition no right there by Manu. Just a little flat route to the tight end. And you hear him saying, I know how to block this now. It, it tricked oh, him on the no first play. The so two-time Panthers Club champion. He, he's very patient with his play call, too. He takes this whole play clock a lot of times. Man, he he really goes with a lot of hot rope, a lot of motion. Five quick throw to the fly. Come on, I have no time right now. Catch. Clock is running down the ball 15. one time. One time. Ah, give me a second. Strap God may be 17 years old, TD, but he's got the voice of like a 40-year-old. Yeah, he does. He does. He's he's very monotone as well with his with his approach and his voice. He looks very calm. He said he was gonna be nervous, but he seems very calm so far. Someday I hope my voice gets that deep. I think it's Green, it's come on. Oh, he double sides. Okay. No. All right. <laughs> Bro, you wouldn't be where you are if you didn't have that voice. You're the voice of competitive Madden, baby. Uh. Third and 12. I can hear chat right now. I hope oh, voice drops too. <laughs> Far. Oh, I put him on the up. wrong route. Oh, I put him Come on the wrong route. He's going to take another sack. Uh, Strap God's team is a cover sack a there. Buda Baker with the play. Fourth and long for uh, Manu. He'll have one. 
My fault. We talked about the nerves for Strapgob, but Manu says he's coming out putting these guys on the wrong routes. Could that be nerves for Manu? Strapgob with a big defensive stand, fourth and 20, no choice but to punt this ball away. Buda Baker, one of the great young players on that Cardinals team. Up, oh, can he save it from the end zone? He cannot. What a bounce on the sidelines. Didn't go out of bounds, actually goes into the end zone, but she gives Strap God the ball at the 20 yard line. Great punt. Maybe Manu's been practicing his punts, but unfortunate bounce to go in the end zone. Here we see Strap God in that New England Patriots offensive playbook. You're going to see him some mix some formations. You see his first ever Madden Club Finals appearance, his first year competing. Um, you know, nervous for it, but excited. You're going to see him in that New England. He likes this U trips. Uh, formation out of the Patriots playbook, which we see uh, another TNC member run a lot, Decraw, who is the Seattle Seahawks club champion. So Manu, I'm sure, has had some reps versus type of offense. So I like to see Strap God, see what he's got cooked up, and maybe mix in some other formations as well. Yeah, we also saw him setting up audibles for that split close pass, one of my personal favorite formations. Yeah, split close has been good for ever since it's been put into Madden, it's been good. All the, always those compressed tight formations, always really good. Let's see what the 17 year old has for the veteran Manu. Yeah. First down oh, and 10. Josh Allen at the helm. He's got Mostert split wide left. Allen stepping up, looking left side. And he's got Todd Heap with the catch, six yards. Nice play to kick things off. Yeah, you see, you see on that offense, there's Todd Heap out there, there's Tyreek Hill, Josh Allen at quarterback, as well as that uh, Chad Johnson at receiver. So he's got some weapons to play with in that gun new chips formation. Second down and four. Johnson split wide left. Mostert and Hill wide right. Barry Sanders on the left hip. Now the former Wyoming Cowboy, Josh Allen. He'll find Ooh, Barry Sanders, but Sanders can't hold on to that one third and four for strap guy interesting you don't see that a lot he's got that backfield master on barry sanders which allows him to get some more contested right. catches to the running back but there we go. big drop right there That's big better. hit from manu on defense third and four looking to put some points off the board off the early stop on manu Allen dropping back. Good user coverage. Go. You know he was looking for, for the it. curl route Please and Manu able to make Please a defensive play. A pick up a yard, fourth and three. I like the route combo from Strap God though. He had that post underneath curl route to the running back, Thank tight you. end out route, but Manu with better What's defense. Up? He really had great user right there. He didn't let him throw that curl, but he also kind of bit back on the post. And now a big fourth and three here. Big momentum shifter. If Manu can get a stop, he's in he's in field goal range. Strap God's gotta convert. Can the youngin make a big play on fourth down? Mostert over to the left side. Allen dropping back. Two-man rush from Manu. And look once right, again for the, right the wheel play, route. Like, your play, and right. once again, Barry Sanders can't up, make right. the catch. Yeah, risky play right there by Strap God. Tries to go back to that backfield master on that wheel route. I love the, the wheel route flat combo. One of my favorite combos every year. But that just wasn't open. Manu with a great adjustment, manned him up. And now he's in business uh, in, in, at the 27-yard line. So the stop early from Strap God ends up not hurting Manu. In fact, he'll get better field position than he would have on that drive. Far. Oh, wide open. AP, Adrian Whoa, Peterson breaking tackles. And then Ooh, with a okay, three Stooges esque fall at the end, he'll pick up a bunch. First and 10 from the 11. Great pass protection right there from Manu. Figuring out how to pick up that blitz. Had everything, you know, stepped up in the pocket. Had a lot of things open. Went with the drag underneath. Turns into a nice first down. Five changing the play. Bringing Peterson in motion. And he'll look go. underneath. Hey, There's 85. Me. Please, this fall Chad That's Johnson all I need. with the catch. The That's all I need. Former old Please, this fall Bieber. Taking up eight. Good read right there. Patience. Just, he's been just checking it down pretty much every play. You've seen a lot of table routes, a lot of drags. Just goes with a little baby in route right there. Please, Gets it down please, for the three yard line. And now I would expect another thing, another power over fullback dive here, Nick, which we usually see inside the five-yard line. Does Strap God have that run defense? Now this should have. 
Goal line. I expect a little fullback dive action here. Peterson at the top of the eye. It looks like the Derrick Henry at fullback. He'll give it to Henry. And oh, Henry make a tough stood on me. up. Oh, boy. We're like a Browns defense for this weekend. Damn, I hit the red zone. Great, great run defense right there by Strap Guard. Uh. It gets so tough down here on the three-yard line. I, maybe even go to like a stretch. Try to get to the outside because this inside is so clogged up. Everyone has this inside run defense uh, inside the three-yard line. Third and two. Cooley in motion. Back to Come Henry. On, uh, Back to getting hit in the backfield. Oh, He'll man. lose a yard. Third or fourth and three. And it looks like Manu thinking about settling for three. And it looks like he is. It looks like he's going to break the field goal unit back onto the field. Yeah, I think you got to settle for three here. Fourth and three. It's so tough. You saw those other three plays did not go well. And these are where games are oh, won and lost. Huge, Nick, inside the five-yard yeah. line. Settle on for three. That's a big defensive stand by Strap God after getting that turnover on downs. If you're Manu, though, you've got to feel like you're set up well defensively after that first drive. You know what he's trying to do. And you really had it bagged on those first four plays. Yeah, definitely. The only thing is that Strap God gets ball at half. So he's still up a stop. But, uh, yeah, you know, if you're mono, you feel fine. But that, those things can come back and bite you, you know, not being able to stick it in within the five-yard line. And we'll see Strap uh, back on right. offense stay in that right. U-trips formation. First and ten. The Brooklyn, New York native Strap got. Allen. Uh-oh, in trouble. Just gets rid of the throw to sack, finds its way to Tyreek Hill. Pick it up, 15. Fortunate break for Strap God. You see a little head shake from him. Very fortunate right there because he was wide open. Wide open if he could have just stepped up and bullet passed it. But the pressure was coming. He's hit, but he's fortunate to complete it and pick up a first down. Josh Allen. Throw it. Has nobody away. open. There are a couple opportunities maybe to throw, but I, it, TD, every time it looked like I was like, he should throw it there, Manu had somebody uh, in the vicinity that could make a play. Do, you know, this yeah, dude. Manu's doing a great job on defense. He's uh, playing a lot of zone defense, but he's actually cross-manning his, his defenders. You see him manning up this motion guy. He's manning up RB a lot of the times across the field. And Strap God has no answer for right now. Allen in trouble. Down goes goals. Allen. Really Thomas coming around the zone. edge. Third and long. Yeah, just some high-level Madden going on. You see, he's trying to motion over that post route. Manu knows it. Cross, cross mends that RB post route. So he takes it away, and then he, he allows his user to work on the other routes. Just phenomenal defense right now. Big third and 16 for Strap God. Maybe look for another slant post combo. Corner route. He's got to get, get a little deeper. He's got to get more of a big play. We he's checking down. the bomb. Josh Allen, three-man rush this time from oh, Manu. He'll throw it to the flat, oh, and that's Todd Heap that. with the catch. He'll get 12 of the 17 back. On, Fourth for and time. four, another big play for the young Strap God. Strap God's been putting his tight ends on those little out routes, but he hasn't thrown it yet up until that play. Nice job right there. Make this a nice and manageable fourth and four. Josh Allen was tired here, though. I saw his guy was red. Got to be very careful now. It doesn't have to snap the ball. Can't take this all the way to the two-minute warning. And he will take a timeout. No, nope, we we'll do a one. With, with one second before the two-minute warning. Interesting. Because you're right, Nick. He had a he could have gone to the two-minute warning. He was ahead of the of the uh, play clock. So kind of bad clock management right there. I know it is the first half, doesn't matter too much, but he could have just went to the two-minute warning and saved that extra timeout. Fourth down of four. Can he find anything working down the field? Allen. Lots of time, it, lots bro. of traffic. He he just and he that. makes the play. A nice the read game. there from Strap oh, to pick no up first down. And a big sigh of relief. You can see God, it in his bro. face. He knows that he's living life on the edge. Throws it into basically three guys. Fortunate Holy to get shit, the diving possession that. catch animation. Nice. I, it, he kind of had nothing open. I mean, that was pretty bagged, and he kind of just had to throw it. And lucky for him, he converts. And Manu in disbelief. That Strap God's offense still on the field. Only one timeout remaining for Strap God. Looking That's right side, man. he has the curl route. That's oh, Tyreek Hill. Oh, my Lord. Up 14. Okay. 
Great yeah. dot right there by Strap God. Going to that curl flat combo wide open. Those curl routes with a low pass are just super effective here in Madden 21. Goes back to it, picks up a nice first down. Nearing the red zone. Uh oh, here comes the heat. Ooh. Just gets rid of the ball. And a, and a, and a, a nod of acknowledgement from Strap God. I see what you're doing, sending the fire. Manu mixing up his coverage nicely, dials it up right there on first down, comes in clean with his D tackle, and fortunate for Strap God, just kind of throws it in the dirt. Second and 10, Sanders on the right hip of Allen. Thank you. Oh, it's picked off that you? low pass. Wasn't that Thank low, Pat Willis, much. with the early Christmas gift. Oh, and he'll take it all Jesus the way down to the 39-yard line. TD, that Let's one right was one me. I haven't seen before. All right, bro, get into the red zone. I mean, get seven. That was I'm a free around. gift right there from Strap God. I mean, just a bad read. Just threw it right to Manu's linebacker, Patrick Willis, the Madden legend. And he just picks it off. I mean, it basically just gave him a free pick, you know. I, I didn't see anything open on that side, and Manu now in right, business again. A minute and a half, minute and twenty, minute and fifteen. He's got, he's up by three, and he's got two timeouts. Plenty of time here. Minute fourteen to go. Far. There we go. Might have why if he he's wants them, and he does. A P to the seventeen-yard line. Oh, good. Yeah, one of the one of the most the things that Manu does year in year out, he loves those post hitch combos in his offense. And that trip set goes to it right there, hits the post for a big play uh, in the middle of the field. Locked down under 40 seconds in the first oh, half. This damn clock, man, it's going to me nuts. Manu's struggling with the runoff here in Madden 21. Yeah, this, and I've known Manu for years, and he I'm telling you, he will take that whole 30 to 40 seconds every play. I mean, this guy hikes usually at one. He makes a million hot routes. Like, I think sometimes he's doing too much out there because it, it's just like, look at I mean, he's done at least six on this play. He's still doing them. He's got a motion now. He's got a, He takes an eternity to, before he hikes the ball. He's like that person that goes to Subway and puts, like, everything on it. You're like, dude, he's just – you, you don't need all that. Just settle down. You're doing too much. Yeah, he's just hes just an offensive genius. He really is. He, he uses great concepts, sometimes too much. Like I said, I mean, this guy's dropped e-books, and there's, there's about 45 <laughs> route combos in these in, in these e-books, but that's what makes him so good. Thank Ooh, you, man. I needed seven so and bad. And pushed into the end zone. Touchdown for that two-time All-American. Knocked all. that one out of the park. Yeah, that was a ah, risky play call, but it worked. Off. It paid off. I mean, inside zone up the middle with only one timeout. He's able to punch it in. That's a big touchdown because you're going to go up two possessions at the half. Phenomenal defense and turns it into seven. And now Strapcott is right, getting the ball to start the second half. We know you like giving people kick returns. Please, no kick returns. Please. Please. I don't I mean, want I'll, kick I'll say, TD, I feel like in Madden 21, we've seen significantly less kick returns than we saw in 20. Yeah, without a doubt. Thank you. Uh, you don't see it at all really this year. I, I don't think I've seen one. Just take a look at the replay here. Just, just great offense by Manu. Oh, or this is the pick, excuse me. Patrick Willis right there. Just uh, just a bad read by Strapcott, honestly. You throw it right to Patrick Willis, and then Manu able to all take right, advantage on offense, you. get that big touchdown. I want to try to bomb you. First and 10 there for Strapcott. Oh, that's a good He'll play. throw it right side. There's Todd Heap out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Four seconds come off the clock. He'll pick up the first there. down. Yeah, that's Todd Heap's been pretty good for Strap. Got a couple out routes. Goes for the drag right there. It's gonna be tough here. You gotta get about 30 oh, yards. Give yourself a shot at the field goal. You gotta go. You gotta go corner out, cr deep crosser, get out of bounds. First and ten. Could this be? In trouble. Down goes that's Allen. Enough. Why would he call a timeout? Strap God will take his final time out of the half, looking for a miracle play to close out the first half of action. All right. Strap God trying to go with that cover three bomb to the tight end on that on that post route. We've seen Decroft hit that in the Seahawks oh club. God. Here we go. Now he's just gonna hand it off, try to make a play. Thank God. Sanders can't find anything, and we will go to halftime. Ten nothing, and, and TD, you look up at the scoreboard. Score feels about right. Mono's been in fairly firm control this entire game. Yeah, Strap God's been fine on defense. It's just his offense, you know. He's got some good route combos, but his reads have not been up to par. That pick to Willis really is the difference in the game so far. Manu able to get that pick and then go down, get seven, and goes up two possessions at half.
Can the youngest player in the field find something in the second half? The veteran, TNC's Manu, with a 10-0 lead with two quarters of action to play. Not only will the winner of this game take home that extra $5,000, he'll also get this pretty cool signed football from the Carolina Panthers. See a couple different players have signed that one. A really nice piece to add to the mantle. A big thank you to the Carolina Panthers for sending that over for their club champions. Amato's had plenty of experience here in the Panthers club champion. We mentioned he was the two-time Carolina Panthers club champion up until last year uh, when one great user was able to win the title. And TD Manu, he said he wants it back. It feels like this is his club. Oh, without a doubt. He feels like he's gotten kind of unlucky these last few years. You know, even in his game versus user last year, you know, he broke off these big stretches at the end of the game. His game versus Clef back at Madden 19 in the in the final 16 was an insane game. So he feels like he's gotten some unlucky breaks. He feels this is, could be his year to make oh, a deep bombs. run. Time for second half action. Strapgod oh with the ball. TD, what are you seeing from Strapgod's offense that he can maybe build upon here in the second half? Yeah, you know, I like his route combos. It's just Manu's been playing a lot of coverage defense. They're both adjusting really on the fly. And Manu just yeah, had the better hand. Really better hand. You know, he's he's cross-gaining guys. He's, he's mixing up his coverage as well. Ooh. What? I was looking for the little curl route. By the way, TD, something we, we, we can't go too much farther without shouting out. We got a we got a, a return on the Madden League Ops Twitter account. It's our man RG. The GOAT. Big shout out to G. Back what? from paternity leave, back on the League Ops Twitter. So we see the League Ops Twitter all night long. Updates from the games. Make sure you follow him. What happened nice to my flat? Oh, They're cheating okay. the shit out of him. Thank you, man. What's up? They're showing love right now. What happened to my flat? Oh, Chad did not want to catch that ball. He was not in. But uh, make sure you uh, follow Madden League Ops on Twitter. Our guy RG is going to be updating oh, that man. all night long at Madden League Ops on Twitter. Also follow us, uh, follow League Ops on Instagram with some yeah. behind the scenes photos. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. They've been pro posting a lot of good content. Stay up to date. You can find out all of the tournament news, highlights, info, everything you need on the Instagram and on the Twitter for Madden League Ops. Check that out. And right now, Strap God showing a little life here. A couple dots moving down the field, getting a nice first down. First and 10, three-man rush from Mato over the middle. He's got Tyree Kill, takes a big hit, but he'll get, they'll call nine and a half. Second is short. Distinctly different route combo he's trying out now. As for the first time, I think, a handoff and Sanders will pick up the first down. That was a nice play call. Looked like he had more of a hole if he stayed to the left, but he kind of cut it back inside. But he's really got some juice right now. He's moving the ball. This is the biggest drive of the game for the young 17-year-old because all the momentum is on Manu's side. If you can go down and get seven, put yourself back in the ball game. Allen. Step up. You know, he's looking for that wheel route. It's good coverage, though. He'll have to oh. throw this one away. Seems like every time Strap God comes up with a new route he's going to look to, Manu has an answer. Yeah, you know, Shapka's routes are nice. He's got he's going a lot of this hatback wheel flat. He's got a drag and a post behind it, a hitch and a post. His route combos are phenomenal, but Manu is just all over these adjustments and he's ready for it. Second down, strap god. Oh, yeah, nice little play. I don't know if that was a bouncer or a playmaker, but Barry Sanders mm, picks bro. up the first down. Great pocket presence right there by Strap God. He waited, waited, waited. Because nothing was open. He waited, waited, and then finally his running back uh, comes out of the flats, goes upfield. He's able to convert. Boy, what a career Barry Sanders could have had. Such a, I mean, it was a great career as it was, but imagine if he played like 10 years more. Ooh. There's that wheel route to Sanders once again. Yeah, Barry Sanders, man. I think to many people he is the GOAT. Got stuck in Detroit for so long. And you saw Manu right there bringing the heat. Strap got with the wheel, a couple hitches. He had pretty much the left side open as well. Goes to the running back, and he's moving well right now. Damn, they really got me out here playing deep, bro. That's crazy. Allen. Stepping right. He's got X across the Good field, play. and he's delivered oh, a laser. The gunslinger to Ocho Cinco inside the 10 yard line. Strap God's elated. A laser beam by the young 17-year-old. He had him about five seconds earlier. Waited, waited, then threw it on the sidelines on the seven-yard line. 
Let's see what he's got for the red zone offense. Little RPO action looks like right here. I like the play call. He'll hand it off to AP Adrian hey, Peterson, but good defense like from the red zone either. That's only fair. That's only fair. I like that. I like that play call, Nick, but Manu, you saw him in the last second, sh shifted his line left to the power O. Just a, a high IQ goes. right there. Going back to the U-trip, second and goal. This is where it gets tough. You got to look for some curl routes here, maybe a halfback wheel. Second and goal. Three-man rush. Big pancake in the middle. He's going to take off with Josh Allen. He'll pick up six. They'll give him the three-yard line, third and goal. Third and goal on the three. So <laughs> ideally, if you're strap guard, you want to get to like the one right there. The three-yard line is so tough. You really don't know what to call. It looks like he might go back to that RPO, but I think Manu has the defense where you see him shifting that line. We'll see what strap guard can adjust with him. Third and goal. Back under center. Back to the power. Oh, he'll cut it back Let's inside. Go, Peterson man. fighting forward. Oh, down to the one yard line. Zone. Decision yeah, time for the young man. He brings the offense back on the field. Fourth and goal. Will he snap this ball? He will. Oh, he throws the RBO bubble. And Moser oh, into the end zone. The heady play for the 17 year old. What a decision by Strap God. He goes with tempo, right. hurries up, Seven. Manu run commits, and Strap God throws the RPO. What? Oh my goodness. High level from both sides. Strap God with a phenomenal play to get in. That was crazy. High IQ from the youngest player in the field of 64. Strap God cuts it back to a three point game with what might be the best play call of his young career. Henry takes us up to the 25-yard line one more time. The run commit bites Manu. Yeah, look at this. Oh, Manu run commits. The whole defense collapses. The RPO bubble is wide open. And Strap God, you hear him say, one stop. Phenomenal drive by Strap God. The young 17-year-old showing that heart. And he's right back in the game. What sort of answer does Manu have? Strap God used almost the entire third quarter. Farm over the middle. Ooh, we got Chris one Cooley of those. Okay, catch. he wants to play a little crazy. I don't know if he did that on accident or what. What a drive by Strap God. I'm super impressed, Nick. And now let's he puts all the pressure way. back on Manu. So let's see if Manu has a championship drive in him. Just one yard is cool with me. Okay, well, touch well he's going to get more than a yard. Yeah. How about Reggie Bush pass midfield? Give him 19. Yeah, great job right there. Inside zone. He's that, that nickel 335 odd, a little vulnerable to the run game. Manu takes advantage. Big I'm inside zone run. The the I'll do it after this. Bush on the left hip. Of the 1991 second round pick for the Falcons, Brett Favre. I don't think he can stop this play. Come on, pressure up the middle. Damn, he's and that there's one stop. that defense I'm once again. Antro roll with the sack. Wow. Big time defense right there by Strap God. If you're a Manu, you're having so much success with that inside zone. I don't know why you didn't stick to it and force him to and just run until he stops it. He goes back to the air and dials it up a big sack. We'll see if Strap God brings the heat again. Peterson motions to the left side. Here comes Favre. Quick throw to oh, Peterson who shakes okay. off a tackle. Get That's off me, says AP. Imagine that only exactly in virtual and in football will you see Adrian Peterson make a Much contested love. catch. That's a big time throw, big time catch from Adrian Peterson. Manageable third and three. Big play for both guys coming up. Timeout taken by Manu. Didn't like what he brought out offensively. Yeah, those second half timeouts are scary. They really are. Peterson in motion. Okay, wow. I mean. Uh oh, blown coverage! Boomer Sooner! Peterson to the house! Nobody yeah, within a mile of them! Adrian Peterson with a big touchdown, and Manu goes up 10. Yeah, I mean, just a blown through? coverage by Strap God. You can't get much more wide open than that. Manu takes advantage, and that's a huge play in the ballgame. With under four to go. Manu with the answer, the veteran. Looking to make a statement today, TD. Somebody that so many people have expected. I mean, the expectations for Manu have always been high as we take a look at the blown coverage one more time. Not much to it. 
You know, it, it, this is somebody, everybody, when we get to that final 32, he's sort of that, like, hipster pickup. This guy could make a run for a belt. Without a doubt, man. Like I said earlier, you know, kind of a trendsetter. You talk to the TNC guys, you talk to Manu. You know, he kind of gave them, because Manu's been around a little bit longer than guys like J-Wall, Fancy, and they kind of got some of their trips concepts from Manu. You know, as 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 oh, he's going have deep. him? Does he have oh, him? Oh, most are can't the make hell? catch. Oh, this could have been the big play. Kind of God needed, bro. but yeah, I even manned up the inside. I knew, I knew he knows about the inside third glitch. I manned the dude off. What the hell happened? He's kind of a trendsetter within the this Lord. trip. Our guys took that motion stuff from him, and he's well respected on offense and defense in the community. And he's looking to make a run here in the Panthers Club Championship again. Oh, so you get a 10 look at left side. There's Tyree Kill. Oh, missed tackle. Asshole. There goes Reek. I oh, didn't think it was God, possible bro. for anyone to run Tyree Kill down. Yeah, that's crazy that he got caught. I'm impressed by Strap God's fight right here. Down 10. He's still got three timeouts. There's plenty of time left in this game. He's moving the ball well. Big time dot down the sidelines. Strap God not out of it yet. First and 10 from the 19, 3.39 to go. All three timeouts in his pocket. He'll throw to the little hitch on the right side. That's oh, Hill shit. out of bounds, picking up five. Another oh, great dot. Stop. And, you know, we've talked so much about Manu and TNC, but I think it's important to note, Trap God labs with guys like Joker, Kale, BG, Fam, two well-respected players as well. Um, and he, he's, he's really came out and balled here today. I like the way he's showing heart and big-time drive going on right now. Big shout-out to those two. Second and five. Looking up the city. Barry! Oh, oh, he click didn't me make that the catch. Why not click me onto the guy who's going to pick the ball off? Oh, oh scary pass right there. It looked like he might have had a window, but then he went through with the aggressive catch, and Barry Sanders not going to get that aggressive catch. He's had a couple drops in this game. Look at oh, left side all the, the way across his body. Holy shit. And it's a had catch. A Todd Hitty falling out of bounds. To the wrong guy. Stumbling for a first down. Rolling right, throwing left, strap guard. He's looking wild. He's looking like Patrick Mahomes at quarterback, even though he's using that Josh Allen, but he's on the move. Show me that no-look pass. Barry Sanders for three. Going with some tempo. I like it. You got to punch this in as soon as possible. Second and goal. Any more RPO magic? Allen. Four-man rush. Rolling right, looking for a bounce, looking for anything. He'll throw this one away. Good defense right there by Manu. Trying to make a play right there. This is where, you, you know, this, this spot is tough for Strap God. You got to maybe roll out. You got to make some magic happen. You got to freestyle a little bit. It's so hard on this side, this five yard line. I expect another pass. Look for those hitches or those wheels, or maybe we'll see the RPO he's in single back. Why did my God just freeze? And it's Peterson. Wow, they're going to put him at the three. It looked more like the two. Fourth and go goal. It. It's the ball game. And he is gonna go for it. He'll hand it to AP. He's in the backfield. Oh, Manu Lord, says, "Fool three. me once, Jesus shame on me." But you're not getting me a second time. Listen, I know you want to be oh, aggressive, but I think though. right there that inexperience might have played a role. You gotta take your three and go down one possession. You've been playing solid defense. That's at such a tough spot to try and score on the four-yard line. I get that he wants to be aggressive, but you know, I think you gotta take your three points right there and get on defense down one possession. Come on. Snap it, snap it, snap it before he gets down. Let's go. Derrick Henry will get to the five-yard line. I mean, again, we talk about it, the Carolina Panthers Club Championship. Manu looking for his third title after one great user broke his streak last year. TD, this, that to me was a play call of just inexperience, a, a kid in his first MCS event not you know, not taking the three and staying alive in this game. Exactly. I think that's a little bit of the inexperience, the frustration that comes when you're inexperienced. You know, he just wants to get in the end zone so bad. He hasn't probably performed as well as he wants to on offense. And that's you see cool, Manu man. here to dagger up the middle. And that that, that, that was big time there. right there. I think Strap God kind of cost himself, really. taking himself out of the game basically. Because if he didn't convert, the game was over. If he kicked three, he still has life. And Manu being the seasoned veteran that he is, going to go on conservative. You're going to see three runs right here taking advantage. But a lot of credit to Strap God, Ty. Because this was one of those games as a heavy favorite the known player in Manu, Strap got the youngest player in the tournament. Now, a lot of people saw this one as, as a blowout possibility, but Strap God has been able to keep it close and you know, show that this is someone that to look out for the next couple of years. Oh yeah, I was super impressed by him. I liked his route combos on offense. He made good reads for the most part. See, second half, he looked good on offense. That He had that one bad read, that pick that kind of really cost him to Patrick Willis. And defense, 
you know, he's no, he's looked okay. Home. It's tough to stop Manu. He's yeah. one of the best players, but he's kind of, you know, he hasn't gave up any big plays. So I like his game. I'm, I'm impressed. And once he gets a little bit more of that experience, I think this is a kid that we can definitely see in the future. Strap guy not taking any timeouts here. Manu will snap with one second to go. And Henry well, will Henry get near the first down marker. Kind of and once again, no timeout taken from Strap guy. Interesting. He's going to only, I mean, he's trying to save him and get a field goal or onside kick, but he's given himself about 20 seconds. You kind of had to call those timeouts and hope for an onside kick. Maybe he saw that that fourth down opportunity as the ball game. As now Manu will punt this one away. Should probably take a delay game or a timeout. He'll take the timeout. And for only 22 more seconds, one great user is the defending Carolina Panthers club champion. <laughs> Enjoy it, man. I know you're back there watching. Just Enjoy it. Take the moment in. What a oh, montage God, that was. Dude. Yeah. All right, dude, don't give up this. Stuff. Like, I man the dude Quite up when the you bomb me the last time. He's still someone who just bombed me. Fucking get bombed. So let's see. You know, if I'm Manu, I'd be in, like, quarters right here. Just everyone back. Three deep. Yeah. Just play a lot of... Just get everyone back. All in right with Allen. Step out of bounds at the 47. Yeah, there's just not enough time here. He shot. He probably should have cut that inside, went down, kicked his field goal, but 10 seconds, this game is over. That's fine. To the right side. Every time he goes out of bounds, it's just a little more time. User longingly looks at that trophy. User's holding on. Holding Hold on. on to these last six seconds. Sean Gott's keeping you in it, man. <laughs> Treasure it. Over the middle, Again. Chad John with a catch, zeros are on the clock, and Manu is back to being the Carolina Panthers club champion. He takes down Strap got 17 to 7. Tini, this was a hard fought battle to the end. Manu, the veteran though, showing that off late. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but he did just enough on offense, defense, the savvy veteran, the young veteran. He's still young, but he's been around for a while now. He's always impressive. And he's a three-time Carolina Panthers club champion. And TD, TNC continues to show why they are feel like they're the best crew out there. Another win for the crew. And they continue to rack up these wins in these $5,000 games. Yeah, they're looking dominant, man. They might be the best crew out there right now. I know 818 will have something to say about that. But compared to EMB, TNC is definitely dominating. And just another impressive performance by those guys. Yeah, again, the youngest player in the tournament, Strap God. Just a couple mistakes there, TD. This is something we always talk about it. In your first MCS event, this is something that you can build on. You can learn from it, watch the tape back, and come back next year and compete even harder. Yeah, we didn't know a lot about him coming in. You know, I didn't know what to expect, but I was impressed by him. I think he's got a lot to build on. And yeah, I think we'll definitely see him uh, as he gets a little more experience in the future. Well, Manu, who was the Madden 18 and Madden 19 Panthers Club champion, Back to being on top. TD, that's got to feel good to get back to that club after that loss last year to be the champion once again in a in a, uh, in a a tournament that he feels like this is his club, much like some of those other clubs have a player that's in. Uh, this feel, he feels like this is his club to win back. Yeah, he feels like Carolina is his cr club. You know, he's a North Carolina native. He always has that chip on his shoulder. Manu's very confident. He does feel overlooked a little bit by the community because he hasn't had that big tournament run but he definitely has all the talent in the world, and this is a big win to be a three-time champion. Well, let's welcome in the new and three-time Carolina Panthers club champion, TNC's Manu. Manu, congratulations, my friend. Uh, quite Thank a you. battle out there against a, a young, plucky competitor. Tell me what it means to be back as the Panthers club champion again after losing it last year, just to be back on top and, and what that means to you. Uh, you know, it feels good, but, you know, I feel like I'm just getting warmed up right now. You know, I, you know, we're just getting started, honestly. You know, I got a long road ahead and, you know, I got a lot more work to put in, got a lot more work to put in. Congrats, Manu. Impressive, man. Talk about the game a little bit, because I know, you know, we didn't know much about Strap got going in. He played pretty well, but, you know, in that second half, you were able to make a couple adjustments and do just enough to get the win. Yeah. Um. I got some intel flown in like the last week or so, you know, shout out to uh, Banks IQ and J-Razm. So I was able to focus in a little bit more, but 
yeah, you know, he was he didn't he didn't make too many mistakes, honestly. Like he was making, you know, pretty good reads. Um, you know, usually like when someone's playing in their first event, like they're a little shaky on the reads and I didn't you know, he was like throwing the ball away and stuff like that when stuff wasn't there and you know he was you know, he was making good decisions. Well, it was a uh, hard fought. Besides the one in the red zone. Besides one. Yeah. It was, it was one mistake. It was a really good battle from a young competitor, but you are the Carolina Panthers club champion, and we have a very special message from the Carolina Panthers on your win today. Congratulations on earning the right to rip the Carolina Panthers in the Madden Club Championship. We're all rooting for you to bring the dub back home to Carolina. Trey Boston from the Panthers. You're also going to get this signed football from the Panthers. Something to display in your room. A real nice piece from the Carolina Panthers on your win. Uh, Manu, I, I cannot wait to see what you can do in January. I know you're looking forward to it. And uh, you and the TNC guys going to be, I I'm sure, labbing hard over the holidays. Yeah, for sure. Always locked in every single day, even if it's like, even if, even if a tournament is not around the corner, like I'm, you know, as long as I'm not doing like stuff with school or anything like that, you know, I'm, I play the game a lot. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, if I'm even playing the game, trust me, you don't got to worry about that. I've been, I've been locked in on the game. Well, no question after today. Congratulations, my friend. We will see you in January at the club championships halfway through today's action. And it was Manu reclaiming what was his, the three time Panthers club champion, 17 to seven over strap. God, when we come back, Katie, Mo, and Yuzer will have post and more.